breaking right now at 5 on CBS News Philadelphia. Panic and confusion after gunfire at an end of Ramadan event in West Philly. At least two people are shot. We continue to follow the developments at 5 o'clock. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartelia. We now know that five people are in custody, including a 15-year-old. And that 15-year-old, we've learned, was shot by police. Let's take you live now to Chopper 3. Police are still on the scene as they are working to piece together this scene at Clara Muhammad Park. You can see the officers are there now. They will be joined by agents from the ATF as well as the FBI. Now, this is right near where Lancaster Avenue and Gerard Gerard Avenue cross or intersect. A mosque is just steps away. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Carrie Carrado has been on the scene all afternoon. She begins our team coverage live from the scene. Carrie. Jessica, I've been speaking with witnesses the moment I got here. People are scared, they are confused, disappointed. There's a lot of emotions here on scene. Many of these people, they were just praying and celebrating, and then they ended up running for their lives. But take a look at this. Everyone dropped what they were doing and ran when those bullets were flying. There is trash, there is empty tents, clothing, strollers, all left behind. People were even running each other over as they tried to escape. Now, they also couldn't tell where those bullets were coming from. The one woman I was talking to, she was still shaking, and that was about an hour after it happened. So this is major trauma for everyone who was here. This is also a massive crime scene. In the middle of the police tape is a playground. This happened a little before 3. Everyone here was just praying for peace and unity, and unfortunately, it was interrupted by this shooting. Now, police are everywhere. We can see them trying to piece all of this together. They're canvassing for evidence and shell casings. Again, this is at 47th and Gerard, and here's what some witnesses had to stay in the middle of the chaos. All I remember is I just I was just sitting right there in my chair and God put on my heart to get up to go to my car because I didn't feel comfortable where it was parked. And I was sitting there for a while and I because I didn't feel like walking so I said let me get up because I feel it on me. So I just got up, got in the car. Soon as I got in the car in the parking lot, that's when I heard the shots. It was like back to back to back to back to back. I see everybody running, the kids running, the little girl ran across the street, she get hit by the car. It's, it was a lot going on. I was so nervous, I couldn't even move. I'm trying to duck down, I don't know what to do. I'm thinking, should I duck? Should I get out the car, hide under the car? I don't know. If I bring you back out here live, now about two hours after the shooting, community members are going through and trying to pick up all the trash. Counselors are also here talking with families. Everyone wants to know what sparked this. What's the motive? People are standing around here and just looking at that large crime scene in disbelief. Jess and Yuki. Wow, back to back to back. Just hearing that. Unbelievable. Okay, Carrie, thank you so much. CBS News Philadelphia's Ray Strickland is also in West Philadelphia, where that chaotic scene is still unfolding right now. Ray? Yeah, and Jess, as we've said before, this was a day that started in celebration, that started with prayer, and it ended in chaos with children running for their lives and rushing to safety. Just take a look behind me. A still a very large scene here in West Philadelphia at 47th, or rather 48th in Lancaster. You can see to the right of all of these police officers, the Clara, Clara Muhammad Square. That's where this prayer in the park end of Ramadan celebration uh, was taking place. About a thousand people there, many of them children who witnessed the chaos unfold, the shooting erupt, and again, people running for safety. We actually spoke to a young woman who was in attendance of this prayer in the park event. She described herself, others running again for their lives. She described witnessing an adult uh, shielding children and also trying to get them to safety. Uh, this, again, a chaotic scene that she describes in this sound right now. Take a listen. I was standing there. I walked in to go charge my phone. Everybody started running everywhere. Oh my gosh, they're shooting, they're shooting. Everybody's running over each other. I'm helping people up. It was crazy. The little kids are shot. Everybody got blood all over them. My friend dad was saving people, throwing them in between the cars, saving people that they was coming up out their stuff. It's crazy. It's a lot going on out there. It was the E. We're we're Muslim. It's E Mubarak. This is one of the this supposed to be one of the best days of the year for us. I don't understand what's going on. All the gun violence that's going on in Philly, put the guns down. Please stop shooting at random stuff that has nothing to do with the people that we don't have nothing to do with it. We're just civilians. Please put the guns down. And we're back live now on 48th and Lancaster. What you're looking at right now is one shell casing of many as police continue to canvas this area, investigate a 
a, a, a very large crime scene uh, right now. But again, five people uh, were arrested as a result of this shooting. We do know that a 15-year-old boy was among them, and he was also uh, shot by police. There was one victim, a 22-year-old person. But as you just heard from that witness, a chaotic scene, people running for their lives, toppling over one another, trying to rush for safety. So a very chaotic scene here that is uh, really traumatizing for the people who witnessed it, all of those children uh, who were here. Um, again, so a lot of disbelief, a lot of confusion, and a lot of unanswered questions as police continue to investigate this heartbreaking shooting. Jess, Yuki. All this happening just after 2.30. Ray, stand by. We will get back to you during our broadcast. Thank you so much. Well, the city is just in shock this afternoon after the shooting happened during a celebration event. The CBS Philadelphia reporter Aziza Schuler continues our live coverage from 47th and Lancaster, where she caught up with Councilmember Jamie Gautier. Aziza? Yeah, Yuki and Jess, as you just said, the community is in shock. I'm still processing the words of that witness that Ray Strickland spoke to. She said that we are just civilians out here trying to celebrate a religious holiday. Now, if you take a look from our chopper camera, you see how large this area is. This park is huge. So just imagine how many people were out there. We hear hundreds of people were attending this religious celebration to celebrate the end of a fasting. Um, they were here to pray, to celebrate, to socialize. I also want to bring in... Um, we have six ward leader, a uh, leader in this community, Peter Wilson. You were at this event this morning at 9 a.m. when it first started. Can you just talk me through uh, what the vibe and the energy was like this morning compared to hearing the news of what it's like now? Well, it was a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, everyone was exchanging pleasantries. Uh, they were happy that they were able to get through the month of Ramadan and to celebrate the festivities here in the park. And it was wonderful, and I, I just don't understand what they plan to accomplish by this act today. I, I, I don't know what they're looking for, you know, and I'm also a co-founder of Philadelphia Community Outreach. We do uh, anti-violence, anti-open-air drugs, and we're out here every week sending a message. You're killing your people, you're destroying your community, and it needs to stop. Put the guns down. And we send this message every week, hoping that they will understand that they're ruining their lives, their families' lives, and people that have nothing to do with crime. Right. Like you said earlier. Right. Yeah, Peter, and what we're hearing, that message is specifically being directed to the juveniles, the youth. For juveniles were arrested in this circumstance and we also spoke with council member Jamie Gaultier about this um, she spoke about like this was a holy gathering she was also here this morning um, let's take a listen to what she had to say this is just tragic and unacceptable. I was just here this morning celebrating with all of the families. Everybody was happy and joyful. So to have this happen on a holy holiday, um, it's just incredibly sad. And um, this community, which is so um, giving to the community around them, doesn't deserve this. And that was Council Member Jamie Gaultier, and I'm here with a six ward leader, Peter Wilson. Um, she said, This is just disappointing. We have, you know, we're supposed to be celebrating something that's uplifting and powerful, essentially peaceful, um, and you have people interrupting this service. This was, from my understanding, this was an open event where anyone had access to. Anyone had access to, and it really crosses the line. It really crosses the line. I mean, it's just an affront. To have folks come in and shoot in a gathering with a thousand plus people in the park celebrating the id, and they had to scatter. I see all kinds of items left around because it's a crime scene now, and it's just a tragedy. You actually sent me a photo. Well, uh, Mr. Wilson, he sent me a photo of a pair of hills, like as if someone was going out for a nice day, a fancy evening of some sort. A beautiful pair of hills left, almost like Cinderella slippers, left in the park because people had to slip out of their shoes to run for safety. So that just speaks to the magnitude of the fear and tragedy people were experiencing here on a religious holiday. Once again, like even when police were trying to respond to the scene, uh, a patrol wagon hit a young girl and fractured her leg just trying to respond. So this is 
causing chaos in this community. Um, as Mr. Wilson said, we don't know how to, to continue to send that message to the youth that violence is not the answer. I'm going to send this all back over to you, Jessica and Yuki. Okay, Aziza, thank you. As we heard, some 1,000 people celebrating, breaking the fast, adults and children praying, reflecting, then chaos ensues. We'll get back to Aziza Schuler in just a little while. Thank you so much for that. Now, our Joe Holden caught up with a woman moments, moments after the shooting occurred. Here is part of their interview. Um, I was working and just happened to pass by the window, and it's about 30 cop cars going toward, toward 46 and Gerard. And the other thing I saw was someone being escorted to the hospital in a, in a 911 vehicle. There was a young man. He looked to be under 18. He just told us what happened. Can yes. you, what, what He said what? Do you recall? They said it was set, seven shooting suspects. Right, and he yes. said that they just started shooting up? Yes, it is. What was their celebration? Yes, yes. Your thoughts on that? I think it's terrible. The people are celebrating mind their own business and they should be able to do it in peace. This city has to get more unified. I think it's terrible. Do it in peace. Many witnesses were there. Witnesses that are sharing what they saw as well. And that includes some of the youngest people in the crowd. Listen very closely to what this little boy has to say. We just got shot at. Two people got shot. Like literally just at the park. And they just they, they just caught somebody, bro. Like this is scary because I almost got shot. Cause the the bullet in here went straight. Cause I was running straight and then it went straight up. And then I almost got shot and I just kept running. And I got shot at multiple times before, but not this one. I haven't got shot at around here. And I knew that was going to happen because it's the E and people be having beef down there. Well, he got shot at multiple times before. But never there. Wow. For a child to say that in the city is an issue. A major, major issue. And uh, our mayor is going to address it all. We're standing by waiting for Mayor Parker to talk about everything that happened today just after 2.30. Around 48th and Gerard. Yeah, that really stuck celebration. with us. In oh the my goodness! We were I've been shot at these. multiple times before. But never here. In, uh, uh, just unbelievable. Unfathomable. Yep. Let's go back live if we can over the scene at 47th and Gerard around 48th, 47th. Our team is continuing phone calls, working to uncover more about what exactly happened here. We'll bring you the very latest updates as we get them. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back.